Good morning. Welcome to the Episcopal Church of the Good Shepherd in Greer, South Carolina. Our service this morning is taken from daily devotions for individuals and families, found on page 137 in the Book of Common Prayer. Open my lips, O Lord, and my mouth shall proclaim your praise. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Give me the joy of your saving help again, and sustain me with your bountiful spirit. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. By his great mercy, we have been born anew to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead. Our reading this morning is taken from the book of Acts, chapter 7, beginning at verse 30. Forty years later, in the desert near Mount Sinai, an angel appeared to him in a flame, a fire, and a bush. Moses saw it and wondered what it was, and as he ran to see it, the voice of the Lord called out to him, I am the God of your ancestors, of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Moses shook with terror and dared not look. And the Lord said to him, Take off your shoes, for you are standing on holy ground. I have seen the anguish of my people in Egypt and have heard their cries. I have come down to deliver them. Come, I will send you to Egypt and to God. And so God sent back the same man his people had previously rejected by demanding, Who made you a ruler and judge over us? Moses was sent to be their ruler and savior. And by means of many remarkable miracles, he led them out of Egypt and through the Red Sea and back and forth through the wilderness for 40 years. Moses himself told the people of Israel, God will raise up a prophet much like me from among your brothers. How true this proved to be. For in the wilderness, Moses was the go-between the mediator between the people of Israel and the angel who gave them the law of God, the living word on Mount Sinai. But our fathers rejected Moses and wanted to return to Egypt. They told Aaron, make idols for us so that we will have gods to lead us back. For we don't know what has become of this Moses who brought us out of Egypt. So they made a calf idol and sacrificed to it and rejoiced in this thing they had made. Then God turned away from them and gave them up and let them serve the sun, moon, and stars as their gods. In the book of Amos prophecies, the Lord God asks, was it to me you were sacrificing during those 40 years in the desert, Israel? No, your real interest was in your heathen gods, Sakuth, and the star god, Kaiwe, and in all the images you made. So I will send you into captivity far away beyond Babylon. Our ancestors 
carried along with them a portable temple or tabernacle through the wilderness. In it they kept the stone tablets with the Ten Commandments written on them. This building was constructed in exact accordance with the plan shown to Moses by the angel. Years later, when Joshua led the battles against the Gentile nations, this tabernacle was taken with them into their new territory and used until the time of King David. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please turn to page 96 for the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. And the Lord's Prayer, found on page 97. <laughs> Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, you have brought us in safety to this new day. Preserve us with your mighty power that we may not fall into sin nor be overcome by adversity. And in all we do, direct us to the fulfilling of your purpose through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. 